mean, what interested me most is because I'm interested in 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 in, in, the, in, in the actors and acting and 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 directing. Is it allowed? Basically, gave you three years or two and a half, uh, two years with the grad film reaches up to three maybe of developing really your 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 voice as cliche as that sounds but that's very important and that means that it's not only the classes that you take but the time that you take separately within the whole atmosphere of the school to sit and explore what kind of stories it is that you want to tell because if i look at my first term film and i look at my grad film and even the film that i'm feature film that i'm writing right now it is a you know, i can see a clear pro pro progression of what exactly it is that I want to, what it is exactly I want to say. And that's what's really important is to having this three years of being around, you know, classmates who you can talk film and make films with, being around teachers who can, um, who can kind of guide you on that and, and just taking the time to really find your voice. You do everything, um, even if you don't want to do it. I mean, I did... I did. I, I did. I was. A, I was a production designer on a fifth term film, and I have. You know, I, I never really had an interest in production design. But after doing production design, you get a total appreciation for the nuances of it. So now you're able to talk to a production designer and think the way a production designer would think, and you'd be able to communicate with them that way. And you know, I edited a bunch of films and I DP'd some films, and so you get to. If you're, you know, even if you're not interested in being that role, you by you. You, know, you, you you doing them allows you to get a total appreciation for it because you know once you make a film even if you want to, if you want to direct it's a total collaborative thing and the more you know about everything the better you're going to be well, I like making films about international subjects and I felt like London the location was extremely important for me it's English for it's English speaking it's the center of the European film and I wanted to go more into the independent film and I felt like the two options that I had were really <clears throat> New York and and London and because I had have slightly bit more of a European sensibility, I decided to go to London. And I, I researched the schools and London Film School seemed to be the best choice. Being in an international environment is extremely important. In my class, there were people from, you know, from literally all over the world. And, and, ma and they made films with sensibilities from all over the world. And you get, to, you get to learn from them. You get to learn from that by talking to them and by also watching by also watching their films. I have this Lebanese, European, American thing. And I think that's also what made me want to come here is because I didn't want to just stay in America and be the American thing. I didn't want to go to Lebanon and be the Lebanese thing. And I didn't want to go to, you know, Belgium and just be a, a Belgian or France and be the French thing. I wanted it to be totally international. And I think London is the most international city you can be. And the London Film School is the most international film school you can choose. The system of the school is, is, to me, a slight paradox because it's structured in a way where it's slightly chaotic, right? There's, you know, you're, you're thrown into this environment where you're making, you know, there's six terms and you're making all these films and you're kind of, it's, it works like a studio, like a small studio almost and you're, you're competing against your classmates in a really weird way but also collaborating with them, which could be healthy and could be slightly destructive. That kind of structure is, is, is great for, for one way because it, it, it gets you ready for the real world and it makes you, but at the same time, it's very, it could be very frustrating because you kind of get lost and you can't, you, you maybe not, if you're not focused enough, you might lose your, yourself. So you really need to, you really need to know what you want to do from the very beginning. I really believe that because if you, if you're going into the film school, and you're kind of not sure what you want to do. It might. You, I've seen a lot of people actually. They they wanted to start off as directors, and they ended up being as DPs. So that's also very good for it. But I think it's it could slightly be intimidating. Once the film school is finished, you know that doesn't mean you're stopped learning. You're gonna you have to continue. I still go to the BFI the same amount of times that I went with. I still, um, you know, read. I still I still even have a few actor. Um, Actors who I who I know from, from who I met during my course, who I kind of practice scenes with, just so I can stay fresh. So just keep on practicing and, and doing what you're doing, and have faith.